What to do, YouTube? All right, so we got a short week this week. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars. We actually had to drop the Jacksonville Jaguars preview video a day earlier than we usually are. We we just we just gotta have amnesia. What happened yesterday? We're gonna touch on it in just a second. Uh, shout out to DolphinsTalk.com, where you can also find me along with other Miami Dolphins content. But oh man, just just going over the comment section, man. Like y'all Buffalo Bills fans are so lucky that the Miami Dolphins are on a short week because I was gonna break down. I was gonna have a video. Of the all 22. If y'all are still here, still watching the video, I was gonna break down what I saw from Josh Allen that was a negative because I just sit back and just looking at the numbers. Yeah, he threw for 400 yards. Yeah, he threw four touchdowns. Y'all saying you, I don't know what I'm talking about. I got you. I got you. You'll be back on this channel, and we're definitely gonna have this conversation again. There were a lot of plays that, excuse me, Josh Allen left on the field. This game should not have been. What was the score? What, what, what was the score? The score was 31 to 28. I don't care what anybody says. This game, the Buffalo Bills should have beat the crap out of us. They should have beat the crap out of us. It's like, to be honest with you, I really think the Buffalo Bills should have put up at least 40 points on us. That's how bad, that's how bad it was for the Miami Dolphins standpoint and how bad Josh Allen missed receivers during the course of the game. Like, y'all can sit back and say whatever you want against the buffalo bills yeah we fought our way back into the game no we did not no 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 we did not fight our way back into this game what happened was josh allen ended up missing out on opportunities and he's the one that put us back in the game not saying that it was by turnover but it may have been on a crucial third down or 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 missed over overthrow or whatever need be but that's the reason why we ended up getting back into this game. Y'all can swear up and down and try to find a positive in the game, which offensively there were some positives, but defensively, I don't see no light at the end of the tunnel right now, but I don't care what anybody says. We did not fight our way back in this game. It was given to us on a silver bladder due to the due to the inaccuracy and uh and and Excuse me, the mistakes that Josh Allen made during the course of this game. Because I I read the comment section all day today, read the comment section yes last night. I was commenting early last night too. It was just like, oh man. Um uh if, if Preston Williams would have caught that pass, we would have won the game. That's bull jive. I do not believe that at all. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. Because the way that they was going up and down the field on us in the, during the course of that game. It was definitely not going to go down that way. It was definitely not going to go down that way. But let's just let's go ahead and just get into the preview part. Um, honestly, I'm not feeling as confident as I usually am uh, going going into this game because going up, up against the New England, excuse me, the Tennessee Titans, Gardner Minshew looked really good. I'm not even going to lie to you; he looked really good especially with a clean pocket. And you know what? We had the discussion yesterday as far as Josh Allen's concerned. We, the Miami Dolphins had little to no pass rush. It doesn't matter what quarterback it is. A quarterback can look good without any pass rush. The stat line, was, we threw for 30 for 45, 339 yards, threw three touchdowns. Um, there were two tipped interceptions, which I wouldn't exactly put on Gardner Minshew. But for a second-year quarterback, that was, that was a late-round pick. Gardner Minshew looks legit, man. He literally looks legit. And y'all going to hate me for saying this, but I think he might be better than Josh Allen, to be completely honest with you. Now, we was under the impression, we was under the impression that the Jacksonville Jaguars were on a, I don't want to say tank. I'm going to say rebuild. They were going, they were on a rebuild. They ended up making a, a trade in Yannick Ngakwe. Um, last year, they got rid of Jalen Ramsey. They were under a new, under new management. We were under the impression that they were rebuilding, but it looks, but it's looking like they're putting up a fight this year. So us going into this Thursday night game on a short week, I know a lot of us were probably preaching for Tua to come in. Me personally, I don't think that's going to end up happening because of us. Again, it's on a short week. I feel like it's something going to be probably after the 49ers game sometime ish, but I think we're just going to continue to roll with Ryan Fitzpatrick. 
excuse me, going into this game, and that's going to be that. Sorry, that's just what it is. But um, offensively for the Miami Dolphins, when I look at when I look at the Jacksonville Jaguars secondary um, or defense in general, um, I feel like I think the our receivers for the Miami Dolphins have a considerably favorable matchup. That'd be Devontae Parker, Jakeem Grant, Preston Williams gets the opportunity to get gain his confidence back because to be honest with you, I feel like he just got to get himself back to what we was looking at last year before he ended up tearing his ACL. And I feel like he can do that uh, against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, off on the offensive line, as far as that matchup is concerned, hey, Jesse Davis is going to have a long day, man. <laughs> He's going to have a long day having to deal with Josh Allen, the defensive end. He's definitely going to bring it. Um, but I feel, again, I feel like the matchup against the secondary of the Jacksonville Jaguars, I feel like we should have an advantage uh, we saw Ryan Tannehill do it. He threw for, what, it was 18 for 24, 239 yards, threw four touchdowns, and he was down He was down his top receiver. So us having Devontae Parker, Preston Williams, Jakeem Grant, Mike Kosicki had a good game against the Buffalo Bills. So I feel like that should be a considerable favorable matchup for us. Now, defensively, again, <laughs> my confidence is not as high because, again, it's a short week. Um, unless unless our pass rushers were just holding back against the Buffalo Bills, I oh, it's 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 just extremely hard to call the defense. We don't know exactly what's what the situation is with Byron Jones. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him back sooner rather than later. But I honestly feel like he's going to end up missing some time. Obviously, we're going to have the injury report video on Friday. So, we'll know exactly what's going on by Friday if, if he's going to end up be, going to be playing in the game against the against the Jackson. Excuse me. We're going to know by Wednesday. Excuse me. I keep forgetting. It's a, it's, it's a Thursday night game. Yeah, we're, going to know, we're going to know by Wednesday exactly what the situation is. But mo nine times out of ten, I, I feel like we're going to end up going into this battle without without Byron Jones. But again, it all it all comes down to the pass rush, man. Like if we 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 sit back and if we sit back and just look at it. If we if we just sit back and just look at it, I feel like with the receivers that the Jacksonville Jaguars have. If we're able to implement something uh, uh, something of a pass rush, I feel like we have a chance. I, f I strongly feel like that we have a chance. The Jacksonville Jaguars put up 30 points. We're yet to do that this year. So that's why I feel like we cannot we cannot afford to get into a shootout because of the fact that I don't think I don't think we can hang with them if that ends up being ends up being the case. But uh as far as the running game is concerned, uh Josh Robinson Yeah, that's yeah, some wonderful good game. 16 carries, 102 yards. Uh our rush defense is still a little bit suspect. I did see a little bit of an improvement from week one against the New England Patriots to week two against the Buffalo Bills. Maybe because of the fact the Buffalo Bills, they're having so, they were having so much success being able to pass the ball against us. Who knows? But Josh Robinson coming in as the rookie. Uh, whew. I, I'm just I, like, it, it's, it's just hard for me, man. It's really, really hard for me. I, I my confidence in this game is just, just really, really hard for me. But again, Thursday night game, final score. I'm gonna go ahead and go 24-20. Miami takes it over Jacksonville. I feel like we get we get we get we get the ball rolling this game. I really feel like we get the ball rolling, we get our first dub. We can celebrate for once something i know it's a, it's minor it's the jaguars but i feel like that it's something but let me know what you guys think uh, you know what it is if you enjoyed the content please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button also shout out to dolphinstalk.com where you can also find my content along with other miami dolphins content this is great one devore i'm up out of here